Uh, my name is Mike Dunlap. I'm the director of this year's Pride March here in New York City. Uh, once again, we're very happy to have all of you here. Um, this is an amazing event. We have over 300 marching groups, about 65 floats, and thousands of people, uh, similar to yourself and myself, marching along the route of the march. Um, we have groups from all over the world. We have people from Mexico. We have people from Uganda. We have people from Russia. All over, their focus is on LGBT rights and New York City. This is an amazing, amazing day. Um, and so I want to introduce Chris and Rick Biden Cross Wilson and Chris's parents, who are married 30 years this year, who are renewing their vows today. Jean and Frank Leidenfrost. And uh, Jean Leidenfrost, the mama, is going to be speaking for her clan today. Thank you so much and happy pride. Good morning. What a remarkable week this is for America and for all families who love, value, and care for each other. My husband Frank and I are celebrating 30 years of marriage, and we cannot think of a better way to show the world how much we the Latin cross have in marriage and family and to be reviewing our vows today in the middle of the Pride Parade along with our son Chris. By the United States Supreme Court is truly overwhelming. Even for me, as the lawyer who argued the case, standing here at the New York City Pride Parade, where so many others for so many years marched and protested and fought and prayed to get us to this very moment. At its core, the Supreme Court ruling in U.S. v. Windsor affirms the principle that gay married couples have the same right to be treated with dignity and respect as straight married couples. The justices have spoken it is not clear that discrimination against gay people solely because they are gay violates the United States Constitution. 17 long and painful years after its passage, at a time when most of those who originally voted for it have since changed their minds, Section 3 of the so-called Defense of Marriage Act is finally dead and gone and not a moment too soon. After so many dark decades of living their lives hidden in the closet, gay and lesbian couples throughout this nation can now begin to participate fully as members of the American family. That, after all, is what pride is all about. It is important to recognize that our victory never would have happened without the tenacity of a five foot tall, 100 pound, 84 year old lady by the name of Edie Windsor. And proud to have Edie as one of our 2013 Grand Marshals. 